a square lamina of 40 mm side rests on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 30 degrees to HP and the side on which it rests makes 45 degrees to VP and draw the projections. So here he says uh, a square lamina of 40 mm side rests on one of its sides on HP. So and here he says the side the lamina makes 30 degrees to HP. So first we are looking for the surface inclination. The surface inclination here he is mentions that as the lamina makes 30 degrees to HP. That means the entire square lamina is rotated by an angle of 30 degrees to HP. So that means that it is the surface inclination. As the surface inclination is inclined to HP, so we have to start from horizontal plane that is HP. And then since the side rests on one of its sides on HP, the side which is resting on HP has to be perpendicular to VP. So we can see here AD is the edge which is perpendicular to VP and similarly BC is also the edge which is perpendicular to VP. So therefore either we can rest AD or we can rest it on BC. As you look from the front view, we can see all the sides which is A dash, B dash, B dash, C dash, C dash, D dash, D dash, A dash all are parallel to HP. So we are getting the true shape in HP. So when you look from the top view, we can see the true shape. Each side will be equal to 40 mm and it is resting on HP. So AB is parallel to both HP and VP. BC is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Similarly, CD is parallel to both HP and VP and AD is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So this is how you will be able to read this drawing. And so when you look from the front view, AB is near to the observer, so A dash B dash is visible. CD is away from the observer, therefore C dash D dash will be invisible. So when you rotate, uh, when you take, take the 2D analysis, we can see the edge which is resting on HP has to be perpendicular. So first we are going to draw a 40 mm square with uh, AD and BC perpendicular to VP and the perpendicular to XY line. And then the surface is parallel to HP. You can see here all the sides are resting on HP that is on XY line. Therefore, this is the true shape. As the surface is perpendicular to VP, so we are getting a line in the front view. Now here in the second position, he says the lamina makes 30 degrees to HP. So initial position which was 40 mm. So when it is rotated by an angle of 30 degrees, so this will go to be the second position top view wherein the lamina is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. So here still that is the reason why you are getting a line in the front view. And when you are projecting these points, it will going to be B and C here. So this will be having a apparent shape that is because a dash B dash is inclined to HP. So that is AB which is inclined to HP. Therefore, you are getting apparent shape, apparent length here. Similarly, CD is also inclined. Therefore, the small CD will be in apparent length. Whereas A dash D dash and B dash C dash both are parallel to HP. So we are getting the true shape here. As two lines are becoming apparent lengths, therefore it will be, uh, it will not be in true shape here. So this is what we have shown in the second position in the 2D analysis, which is inclined with 30 degrees to HP. So correspondingly in the top view, we can see this is the apparent shape. Then in the next position, the side on which it rests makes 45 degrees to VP, which is the side which is resting on HP. The side which is resting on HP is A dash D dash. So that is parallel to HP. So we are getting the true shape in the true length in HP. So the surface, the inclination made by that edge or that side is 45 degrees to VP is the true inclination. So on the true inclination line, we have to have the true length. So that is the reason why the second position top view is rotated by an angle of 45 degree directly. So that means we are rewriting the second position top view by rotating at an angle of 45 degrees. And then to that we are writing the corresponding front view. So this front view in this 3D analysis and also this front view, in this front view in the 2D analysis will both will going to have the same sketch. So here, how do I know that my problem is right? We can see that one of the sides is resting on HP. The side which is resting on HP makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to VP and the surface is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and it is a square lamina of 40 mm side. So this is how we can analyze this problem both in the 3D analysis and also in the 2D analysis. Now we will going to take up the solution in the sketchbook. How to draw this? First we are going to draw a 
horizontal thin line and mark xy and vp and hp here and as he says as one of the sides is resting on hp so make that side perpendicular to vp so first we are going to draw a perpendicular line to the xy perpendicular to the xy line and then measure 40 mm and mark this point as a and d and then by using the protractor with respect to ad line with a as center measure an angle of 90 degrees and draw a horizontal line and also with respect to d measure an angle of 90 degree and then draw a horizontal line then by using the compass measure 40 mm with a as center cut an arc on this vertical horizontal projector and also from d cut an uh, cut a length of 40 mm then you mark this point as b and you mark this point as c and then join a to b b to c c to d and d to a with a dark line then draw a vertical projector from a and d to the xy line and draw a vertical projector from b and c to the uh, uh, xy line then when you look from the front view both a and b is near to the observer so a dash and b dash is visible and c and d is away from the observer so c dash and d dash is invisible so then join between a dash to b dash with a dark line then consider any convenient distance on the xy line at some distance from this first position front view and you mark this point as a dash and d dash then uh, with, uh, take the protractor and measure an angle of 30 degree with respect to the xy line from the center point of a dash d dash and then draw an inclined line by using the compass you transfer the distance from first position front view with a dash as center measure the distance of a dash to b dash and in second position point front view point a dash d dash cut an arc on this 30 degree line then you mark this point as b dash and c dash in bracket then join a dash to b dash with a dark line and then draw a vertical projector from a dash and d dash to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from a and d both will going to intersect at these two points and you mark this point as a and you mark this point as d similarly draw a vertical projector from b dash and c dash to the top view and draw a horizontal projector from b and c both will going to intersect at this point b and c mark the point as b and c then join a to b b to c c to d and d to a with a dark line so once you know once you uh, draw the second position top view as we know that a dash d dash is parallel to hp so you are getting the true length here and also the inclination given with respect to vp is also true inclination so rewrite the second position top view by rotating at an angle of 45 degree which is as shown so consider any point at any convenient distance from the second position top view and draw a horizontal line and with and you mark that point as d with respect by using the protractor with respect to the point d uh, with d as center with respect to the horizontal line you measure an angle of 45 degree to the below that horizontal line and then draw an inclined line then by using the compass you measure the distance from d to a from the second position top view and transfer it from d to a on the 45 degree line which you are drawn by using the protractor with point A as center with respect to AD, you measure an angle of 90 degree and draw a perpendicular line. Similarly, from the point D also, you draw the perpendicular line. Then by using the compass from the second position top view, you measure the distance from A to B, which is equal to D to C. From A, you cut an arc on this perpendicular line and also from D, cut an arc on this perpendicular line and then mark this point as small p and small c. Then join A to B, B to C, c to d and d to a with a dark line then draw a vertical projector from a to the xy line and also from d to the xy line and draw a horizontal projector from a dash and d dash both will going to intersect at these two points and you mark this point as a dash and d dash similarly you draw a horizontal projector from b dash c dash and draw a vertical projector from b and c both will going to intersect at this point b dash and c dash respectively then mark this point as b dash and c dash and join a dash to b dash b dash to c dash c dash to d dash and d dash to a dash with a dark line so this is how we will be able to write the sketch and make, uh, show the dimensions of 45 degree 30 degree and a square of 40 mm so how do i know that my problem is uh, right so we can see in the final third position front view we can see that one of the side is resting on hp the side resting on HP is inclined, which is the side A dash D dash. That side in the top view is AD, which is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. 
and the side which is resting uh, then the surface is inclined at 30 degrees to hp and it is a square lamina of 40 mm side since we are satisfying all the given conditions given in the problem and hence our problem is 